Hi everyone, I am Jess of Jess Neary Feng Shui. Today we're going to talk all about the career and life path Gua. Now with Feng Shui, one of the tools that we use as a Feng Shui expert is the Bagua map. Hi there, gentle Dahlia. Thanks for joining in. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments here. Now, as a tool that we use in Feng Shui, we use the Bagua map and how we apply the Bagua map on a floor plan and space is in the BTB Feng Shui practice is that we apply this these nine life areas, this grid over top of the floor plan with the front entrance to your home or room or space at the bottom of this grid. And so there's a very good chance that the career and life path Gua is at your front entrance. Your front entrance is gonna be in one of the bottom three Guas, no matter what. If your front entrance is in the center of your home, you're walking right into the career and life path area. That is the case in our home and a lot of homes, but not always the case. This is the area that is located in, again, the center front of your home. This could be, hi Ash, good morning. Oh, so great to have you here. Um, so this is an area that we can really focus on if we're looking for more clarity on our path, on our life path, if we're looking to further expand the energy in our career as well. So this is a really wonderful place to look at for anybody, but entrepreneurs especially, this is the area. <laughs> I've got two little kitties running around, so you might hear them from time to time. Uh, and this is an area that we can look for more guidance, more clarity to receive that energy to come into our career and life path area and in this particular area in our in our life. Now, there are so many things that we can do in this space to really enhance the energy and amplify our intentions in this space. Firstly, I always recommend setting intentions when it comes to looking at any area of your home. Now, for this area in particular, we can create some very strong intentions for our career, for our life path, our purpose in life. So this could also be in respect to parenting because one of the roles that we occupy um, or can occupy in our lives if you're a parent is being a mother, a father, or could even be an aunt or an uncle, but that is a part of your life plan, your life purpose. Um, with your career, it could be looking at setting some strong intentions on calling in a promotion, looking to attract um, a career path that is in line with yourself. So it's, fu it's fueling your energy. So there's a few different ways that we can look at this particular space, but I always recommend setting very strong intentions because when we set these strong intentions, then guidance flows in. Uh, the shifts that we choose to make in this space are going to be in line to in alignment to these intentions that were set. Now, the the process that I go by is first setting intentions, then we're going to look to declutter the space. A prime example is if this is your front entrance that you're walking into in the career and life path area, then we're going to want to make sure that the space is nice and clear uh, for a multitude of purposes, especially if it's a front entrance, because we're welcoming in positive energy. But when we declutter, we're also saying goodbye to what is no longer serving us. Very, very important before we start making some rearrangements of furniture perhaps or bringing in new items as we need to clear the space and clear what is no longer serving serving you now when it comes to then once we've decluttered we've got this big open canvas to work with perhaps we've got some furniture that's going to be staying um, then this is when we can start to rearrange what we have in this space 
Now for furniture, if this is a front entrance, this could mean a shoe mat. This could mean a coat tree that's going to house coats and hats. <laughs> uh, for those jumping on, I've got two kittens here running around having a great old time. Um, so we want to rearrange the furniture and the space to really encourage that healthy energy flow. Depending what type of area this is in your home, it could mean a few different types of arrangements. Um, I certainly have more information on specific rooms in your home during um, these pre-recorded feng shui essentials online classes, which you can find in my link in bio. Um, lastly, we're talking about enhancing and amplifying this space by bringing in new items. It doesn't have to be new items from a store, perhaps. It could be shopping your own home. And there are a few key things to keep in mind when we're looking at this particular space. Oh, gentle Dahlia, what if we have bars on your windows? Does that project a certain energy? I live in the inner city and I don't like the bars, but I bought the property like that, but not a real fan of it, so yeah. I agree with you. Um, bars, yes, it does create a very uh, specific energy. It could feel like, and I don't want to put any sort of negative spin, but you might be already feeling it too. It feels a little bit like prison, you know, you're kind of enclosed in this space is also sending a really strong message of course to those outside that we are protected here you are not to enter so there are definitely some things that we can do in this space to really soften that harsh energy and you might already be doing this in your space too but like having soft sheer curtains could help soften the energy that's coming into the space outside you might have some beautiful tall planters with flowers to help again soften the energy in the space so that the bars are still providing that element of protection um, but you're also still open to receiving that positive, nourishing energy and refreshing energy. So that could be something that could really help you out in this particular case. Thank you for that question. Now, certain enhancements for the career and life path area. Now, this area is a water element space. So in this particular space, Again, water. So when we're thinking of the water element, it's certain colors, certain items that you can have in this space. Colors being dark black or dark blue or even a dark brown, something that looks like perhaps the surface of a water. So you could also have reflective surfaces in this space. So I'm thinking like metallics that have that, um, that sheen, that shine, that reflective ability. You can literally have water in this space. If it's a front entrance, like Gentle Dahlia, it could be having a fountain as well, It'd be a really strong representation of positive energy coming into your space. So having a water fountain directed and so that the water is flowing into the front door or in this particular space, if it's not your front entrance. Um, other things that relate to or other items that relate to the water element in this particular space is a mirror. A mirror is something that I always recommend in a front entrance, but it's something that you can also have. Oh, you're welcome, gentle Dahlia. Thank you so much for your question. You can have a mirror in this space as well, placed with intention of amplifying and enhancing this particular area as well. Again, we're starting with that strong intention in this space as well. Other things, certainly we can bring into this space with it being a water element area, you can bring in metals, metallics. Um, this could be silver, gold, white, literal metal items in this space to help nourish and enhance the energy of the water. Um, and also if you're looking for something like to direct the water element if you have lots in here then you can certainly add wood elements in this item or in this area as well to help complement the space so plants work wonders in 
pretty well all guas. However, in this one in particular, it works extremely well. Real plants is what I'm referring to. I also always say faux plants are better than no plants. So if you don't quite have that green thumb yet, or if you're building kind of yourself up to purchasing like real plants, then I always recommend having a faux plant. Again, better than no plants. So thank you so much for joining my live. If you are catching the replay, feel free to comment here on this post. Um, let me know where this particular gua is in your home or more importantly, what room this is. If it's your front entrance, it could be a bedroom, it could be a washroom, it could be a hallway. I mean, there's so many different configurations, but I would love to know where the career and life path is in your space. And again, this is looking at the front center of your home from looking in the front entrance. So awesome. Thank you all so, so much for joining me live and the replay, and I will catch you next time. Bye.